Good morning, this is Beth at Quitman Public Library and I wanted to do a video for you for your pumpkin craft for October. And so today we're creating a beautiful fall decoration just by um, painting and decoupaging on a pumpkin. We're, first we're gonna do uh, some decoupage that includes part of a napkin. And once we get that where we want it and um, glue down with the Mod Podge, then we will paint some stripes and you'll have a beautiful pumpkin to put on your porch or on your table for fall. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, just use your sponge brush and decide where you would like for your, your um, medallion part of your decoration to go. I'm gonna put it about right here. And then this is just part of a napkin. So we're gonna um, put this here and start pressing it. Then we take more Mod Podge and do the glue all around the edges, all around the middle. And when you are gluing around the edges, you want to get plenty glue because that's the weak point. That's where it'll come up later if you don't have it glued down well. Um, you want to take the edge of your sponge brush and press like that on the edges. And this dries clear, so no worries about that. And there's a lot you can do with this. Today, I'm gonna to be using three or four different colors for stripes to create sort of a little pattern with stripes. But you could also use, you could do swirls or waves of paint or, you know, just however you would like to, to do it. Okay, so we've got um, plenty glue. It looks like um, there's one little spot right there that we need. And you can always, once this uh, dries, you can al always go back and put another coat on top of this just for extra protection for it. Okay, so while that dries, we're gonna go um, over to another area of the pumpkin and start doing some stripes. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, I didn't do it on this pumpkin because it looks pretty smooth, but if you, if you happen to get a pumpkin that you feel like might have some residue or something on it, make sure that it's good and clean. You could even take a scrubby sponge like this and just, you know, make sure you kind of have it where you need it in order for it to hold paint. Okay, so we are going to start doing uh, sort of a stripe pattern here on this pumpkin. And for the start, this doesn't have to be perfection. Um, You just paint your stripe all the way down and a little ways up under the um, pumpkin. And then skip a little space here and go over here. And luckily, you know, a pumpkin has natural seams and has natural grooves, I should say. And so it's easy for your brush to follow that. And you can do it really light and subtle, or you can, I'm adding a little extra paint so, my, so it'll be just a little bit more vibrant. So I'm gonna skip a little more space over here and go again with some blue.
And so you just want to go all the way under the pumpkin. So um, then you you want to start adding some other color. We want to add at least two more colors just so that uh, our pumpkin is going to look sort of dimensional. There's so much you can do with this project. You could do polka dots, you could do stripes, um, you could do some nice little swirls. And then, um, so I think I want to add some sort of dark red to this. Um, Just to get a third color going. And you'll you'll see in this project that you don't exactly meet with it because you're what you want to do is sort of create a woven type pattern. Um, so that's what's going on there. And then you want to um, just just keep repeating your your pattern. And this is one of those uh, projects that is not uh, an exact, a uh, real precise type project. So uh, you want it to look kind of rustic and fall looking. So you're not worrying if your lines are not exact and that kind of thing. That's not a not a problem. So I feel like I I feel like I'm needing just a little more blue, a little more of the turquoise in between. And you'll know as you start doing it how it's looking for you, and if you want more or less. So I'm going to go right here. So I want some extra lines right here. And I want some extra red up here. Um, 
And so I'm gonna pull a kind of a thick stripe down through here. And of course, like all of the projects that we do, if you wanna do your pumpkin different than what we're doing here in the video, that is no problem. Go with some more red right here. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm just I'm just gonna continue to layer uh, stripes until I feel like I have enough design on the pumpkin so that it'll look kind of like a woven type situation. And. More blue. I love this color blue, so can't get enough of that. Okay. So you see how it's taking on sort of a woven effect. And so I'm going to come back. I'm trying to keep the pumpkin in the camera. Come back up here. And we're going to pull this all the way down again. And it looks like we need more tan okay. under here. And it looks like we need another bit of blue right here. So I'm looking on this side and I'm trying to continue this red over about the same distance onto this side. Okay, and then we're going to turn the pumpkin over. So that we can add more stripes above and below the, um, the Mod Podge, the napkin, um, above and below our design. Okay. 
So put more tan there. And more tan here. And then one more here. So we're just keeping our woven effect going. And so up at the top here, it looks like we need more red. So we're going to add more red paint there. All right. And then we're going to need to bring our blue stripes down to meet where the decal is. And once you're done with the whole project, what you what you probably would want to do is do get your Mod Podge and go ahead and cover the entire pumpkin so that it'll hold the paint and the decal longer. So we're going to go ahead and start adding our blue stripes here. And we're, we're not going all the way through the other colors with the blue. Remember, we're creating sort of like a, almost like a, some version of a basket weave type design. And then we're going to go ahead and do more blue right in here. I think it'd be really cute to um, take a Q-tip and do some polka dots in between the woven areas. So we may do that as well on this pumpkin. Once we get to a certain point on the front of the pumpkin, I'll um, show you how you can do the dots if you decide that's something you want to do on your pumpkin. It looks like we need more blue right here toward the front. Okay. 
so you see how it sort of has taken on a woven effect and then um, we were talking about how it would be cute to and you could just paint the whole pumpkin if you don't like the idea of putting the decoupage on the front you can do your whole pumpkin in paint but um this is what I was wanting to do and show you how easy it is you just add paint to a q-tip if you want to add some dots and just do it like that Okay, so you see how easy that would be if you decided to do that. And then, of course, this the paint right here is not dry, uh, not all the way dry yet. But when it does dry, you would just take your sponge brush and dip it in Mod Podge and then just go ahead and coat the whole pumpkin and it will... Um, preserve it for a little bit longer for your fall decorations. So I hope you enjoy doing your craft and uh, be sure to send us pictures and we'll post them on our Facebook and Instagram.